Casper Takedown Media. We cover the sport top to bottom, coast to coast, border to border. And yeah, Athens, Greece. How about this? We're going to invite into the Nike hot seat today one of the best of the best in the Veterans World Championship division. He joins us now, does the 10 time, 10 time Veteran World Champ, Shirzad Ahmadi. Shirzad, how are you? Good, thank you. Welcome, uh, welcome back to the show. I think it's been a number of years we've actually talked to you, but uh, an exciting time right now as you prepare for the 2015 World Championships for the veterans that will take place October 12th and 13th in Athens, Greece. How long have you been involved in, in the event? Well, since 1992, the first one. The first one. That was, what, in Cali, Colombia? Yes, 1992. Now, you've only missed one, and that took place in Italy. Why did you miss that one? I missed it in Italy. I could not go because I was in school, and they would not let me go. Now, talk about winning the event for 10 times. You've absolutely dominated your weight class, but uh, let me tell you something. You guys get better with age because you're still practicing, right? Oh, yes, definitely. We practice twice a day, actually. You're, you're in your gym right now, in your wrestling room. Yes. All in all, you've medaled 21 times that you participated in these tournaments. Talk to us about the competition at your level from around the world. Well, it was, uh, to begin with, I missed Group A because I was 47 years old when I started doing this. And uh, I've uh, won 10 gold, uh, 5 uh, bronze, and 6 silver. So, uh, and I... Uh, Practice every year, and I'm so glad to go in there because I used to, uh, before we didn't have this, so I had to go to senior world championship uh, tryout or Olympic tryout and wrestle, uh, you know, young guys and get hurt or somehow, you know, I uh, didn't enjoy it as much. But now that this is uh, uh, established, so we really uh, have something to uh, work for. Let's talk a little bit about your age. Uh, you were born in Iran, is that correct? Yes. So how old are you now? I am 66 years old. 66 years old. You immigrated to the U.S. in 76. You have been competing for so many years. The number of medals, championships, titles, and honors you've, you've received through this sport uh, is actually quite phenomenal. You're a uh, what we call a phenom. Do you know that? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. gro growing up in Iran is, is surely a different culture when it comes to wrestling than growing up, say, in the United States when it comes to wrestling. And in, in Iran, it is uh, an incredibly popular sport. Can you talk yes. about that? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I grew up in Tehran, and uh, I joined the wrestling team uh, when I was 10th grade. And uh, since then, I never left the mat. So uh, we had we had tough uh, uh, tough practices, uh, tough uh, competition, and uh, since uh, you know I was four times uh, university champ in Iran and one time uh, army uh, SISM games that I won gold medal. But the competition was very tough uh, then in Iran too. So uh, but uh, you know we we learned uh, we learned how to compete uh, internationally. And uh, since then, I never lifted it, uh, Matt, and I, I love it completely, and it's just part of my life now. So, 56 years you've been in competition. Think about that. 56 yes, years. Yes. I have tried eight Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to believe it's all fun, it's all good, but you have chosen uh, to, uh, to coach as well. What levels have you coached? Well, I coach high school and college. Uh, I was Division One head coach for eight years at University of Hartford in Connecticut. Then I coached Division Two for 15 years, Division Three for four years, and same time I coached my high school where I used to teach physics and chemistry. Are you coaching still right now? I am coaching at Trinity at the moment, Trinity College in Hartford. Okay, that is a Division Three school. And Division Three is getting tougher, as we uh, we all know. Division Three is growing, Two is growing, NEI is growing, women's wrestling is growing. Um, I know you've coached for many years in Fargo as well. W yes, why? I was in Fargo too. I coached the Connecticut team. Okay, all right, that's why. Um, the twenty veteran national uh, championships you've won, 
uh, have got it's got to be up there in the record books as a total number of wins. Uh, who are other guys in various weight classes that uh, you enjoy traveling with and competing with and around? Well, it used to be Ross Cozart. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know Ross Cozart. Brandon Ross Florida. Cozart was with me for a long time. He's a seven-time gold medalist and one of the greatest uh, wrestler and veterans. Uh, but I uh, travel with Steve Georgia now and uh, from Connecticut. Uh, so uh, uh, two of us uh, practice from Connecticut uh, and get ready for this tournament. But uh, there's a lot of uh, guys now joining uh, veterans, uh, which you know, I'm really glad to see that uh, gets uh, the young uh, kids uh, in my club where I coach gets them going, or my kids that I coach at the university level or high school level, they really uh, look up to me or look up to us uh, older guys to wrestle tough as they do. So we're talking to Shirzad Ahmadi, one of the best of the best. 63 kilos, Zeph Division. He'll be in action October 12th and the 13th in Athens, Greece. How special is it for uh, the athletes that it will take place in Athens, Greece? Well, that's uh, first of all, we haven't been in uh, Greece. I haven't, I never seen Greece, uh, but that's one of the oldest city that the wrestling came out of, uh, you know, that city. So I like to see it. I like to, um, you know, practically go through uh, what uh, 2000 years ago they used to do it. So uh, that's, uh, that's very exciting. And also the tournament itself is very exciting tournament. Yeah, the tournament has got to be phenomenal. But having it at what we, uh, you know, call the official birthplace of the Olympics, uh, you know, when there's oil and sand involved, and that was pretty much it. Um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of neat. Uh, I really like the idea of the veterans, specifically you guys, going back to compete uh, in in Athens, Greece. You've competed around the world for the love of the sport. Uh, you've uh, absolutely turned in and carded some great performances over your 66 years. Uh, and you are a current member of USA Wrestling. i got to believe you paid attention as an Iranian-American uh, now uh, to the world championships. Oh, definitely. I watched every match. What did you think of the young phenom from Ohio State, the 19-year-old sensation, Kyle Snyder, and his performance? Oh, God, he was phenomenal. He was really good. He was fired up. Uh, it's the way he wrestled, he wanted that gold. Uh, he wanted to show what he got. And I, I believe he's, he's going to be an Olympic champ soon, too. Oh, I couldn't Let's agree with you more. Jordan Burroughs, of course, that was there. He has a perfection on a double, uh, blast double, that uh, it's, it's hard to predict when it's coming and you don't know what to do when he hits it. I mean, it's a thing of beauty. And nobody is close to him. Nobody, as far as the technique goes, as far as the, uh, you know, strength and quickness. He's he's the number one. He's gonna be number one for a while. He's, they can't figure him out. They can't figure him out. And he's no. training. You know, he took time off to become a, a new husband and now a new dad. And uh, I haven't seen a weakness in his game. Have you? No, not at all. No, no. Absolutely. No, that's why he's gonna be around for a long time to come. Cheers so out of has been our guest in the uh, Nike hot seat today. Uh, both men and women are going to be competing October 12th through the 13th in Athens, Greece. It's the 2015 Senior or Veteran World Championships, and uh, one of the best starts things off in our series of interviews here on Takedown that uh, we'll be enjoying, and I hope you take time to listen and watch all of these guys uh, as they uh, are in action. I know that uh, UWW uh, will most likely be having streaming of this event. Uh, you can check them out at unitedworldwrestling.org. Shirzad, it's been a pleasure to have you on. Who in particular would you like to send a, a shout-out to or a hello and a how are you? Well, I'd like to uh, say hi to Ross Cozart, one of my uh, old teammates uh, for veterans, and I'd like to see him come out and compete in these tournaments again. So is it a challenge? It, no, he's not in my weight <laughs> class, but I, I miss him. I'd I like to see him you know, to, in these tournaments. He was the greatest. 
He absolutely was the greatest. Of course, again, the championships will take place. Actually, I'm, I'm dating myself. It's October 13th through the 18th in Athens, Greece, and this will be one of the guys that will be competing in it. Uh, Shirzad Ahmadi, thank you so much for your time thank today. You. I surely appreciate it, and uh, best of luck to you in Athens. Thank you very much, Mr. Casper. You thank bet. you. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper. Our special guest in the Nike Hot Seat today, Shirzad Ahmadi. <laughs>